<laughs> All right, guys, let's go get some shots. Let's go take some shots in here. Oh, what happened? Where's the where's the party at? <laughs> hey, guys, what's up? Welcome back to part two of the guide for dying light. Um, so here's kind of what happened. Uh, in the first one, we kind of went through everything. But that's not what I'm talking about. What happened was I have recorded this already. And then the record decided to be stupid <laughs> and um, mess things up. So I had to play the game all over again and got back to this point where I was last time. And if you remember right, we were doing Gazi's mission and we were about to get um, the two things his mom wants. And that's kind of where we're at. So that's why I got all the way back to where we were. So there's not going to be much difference there. The only difference was as I was getting back to here. I happened to level up just a little bit more than I did before, but I didn't pick what I wanted to do yet because I wanted to save for this guide. So I have two points I can put one in agility and one in power level. And we're going to look at those right now. I think I got the elemental throwing stars last time, so that should be fine where it's at agility. We got slide and we got grapple. I'm going to go with slide. Remember, we're trying to build a ninja build <laughs> or what I'm calling to be a ninja build. So anything that seems like a ninja kind of skill, I think sliding is more than grapple. You could probably go either way, honestly, with that. But to me, mobility, being able to run around a little bit cooler. Plus, that sounds awesome. Like breaker sounds really cool. So <laughs> that's the reasoning behind that. And again, a little tidbit, um, if you don't do this, if you do, don't, I mean, you know what you're doing. But if you're ever going to go with a, a skill, always look at what the next skill it's unlocking for you, right? So go down the tree. This helps you decide if that's the way you want to go. Because what if you got grapple and then you saw brutal grapple? You know, well, that's kind of a waste. I didn't really want to do that. Now you're stuck with grapple, especially if the game doesn't let you respec. So just a tidbit so what would end up happening is you get grapple and then you're like oh what slide was way cooler i should have went with slide you'd have to waste three levels instead of just using two to get these and then maybe using it somewhere else so that's just a little tidbit <clears throat> just kind of heads up on that power uh we're well we're gonna have to go with multi-throw because that's freaking awesome the only thing is now i gotta remember i have multi-throw <laughs> and actually use it the other one was kick stun you get a 10 percent chance every time you kick an enemy i believe that you can stun them and then when you stun them you do a little more damage um over here everything should be the same i don't think i got anything extra i did however go ahead and i built uh this modified plane pipe so you're gonna see me carrying that around for a bit it is a pipe that has electricity basically on it i'm in the safe zone but let me get out of here real quick and then you'll see what i'm talking about all right and that's what it is right there it's pretty cool a little weapon the way you get it is um you get the blueprint for water current in one of the and one of the, um, I believe it's the mission where the bit you first see the big guy, the blueprints in there. If you followed my guide, you'd get it. And then um, you just get the parts for it. And then once you get it, you just pick the pipe you want to do it to. So I picked the blue pipe that you see right here, this plain pipe. I modified it. Uh, and then I added an extra modifier on it called Assassin so that the handling was a little bit better so I could swing it a couple more times. Remember, the higher the handling, the more you can swing the weapon. That's why knives have really high handling. Okay, so with that being said, what we're headed towards and what we're going to do is we're going to finish up this Mother Day uh, quest, and that's going to be right here. We're headed kind of towards it right now. So we're going to pick up the Charlie tape first. It's easier of the two, I think, and that's what we're going to. That's what we're headed to do. Okay, see these uh, yellow sh shaded guys? He's coming right for me right now. Um, these guys are actually really fun to kill <laughs> if you can do it so let's see if I can do it and I don't want that I want um, I want just a simple weapon let's use this one so what we're gonna try to do here is we're gonna try to dodge him and then hit him in the there we go now watch him watch him <laughs> that's amazing never watch this one we <laughs> oh shit that's so cool and that that's a mist of blood that's creepy anyways um what you want to use is your dodge move to get behind them and then just hit them in the back and they're super easy to kill they look like they're gonna be badasses but they're really not okay there's a there's a fast zombie on me right now <clears throat> okay what we're gonna do here is we're gonna pull out this pipe there's two of them? That's insane. I might have to. Oh my goodness. <laughs> right off the bat. 
right off the bat i died <laughs> those fast zombies are are easy if you have the right thing equipped i was messing around too much and apparently i tracked it all of them thankfully we weren't that far out of here um that's my mistake that sucks uh i don't have exploding exploding stars that's the one thing i haven't gotten i haven't been able to oh i got them now sweet so we're gonna make some of these these will get rid of those fast zombies quite easily in fact this gets rid of most zombies relatively fast so now with these i'm gonna be pretty unstoppable we're gonna place our throwing stars and then we're gonna equip those because i'm i'm on a i'm on a hunt mission now those bastards showing me up like that i don't die i don't die like that not like this not like this <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> there you go. That's the best way to deal with those guys. Um, get those exploding stars. Exploding stars take care of most enemies relatively fast. So, with that being said, we took care of that issue. I'm going to try to get around this guy again. <laughs> there it went. Boom. Oh, that's so satisfying. I love it. Okay. So, the first place is going to be right here. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to unlock this door. And it's an easy pick, so it's not shouldn't be too hard. Oh, first try, nice, nice. Okay, once you open it, don't go anywhere. Uh, make sure there's no zombies around. You see that green light right there? That when you walk in here, you're gonna set off a motion detector and it's gonna set off an alarm. And the alarm's just gonna go, it's just gonna go crazy and it's gonna track every zombie in the area. So what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna try to just run towards it and turn it off as fast as you can. Uh, so here we go. Son of a bitch, not now. So turn it off. You can close this door if you want. And then at least you don't have to worry about it too much anymore. Turn on your light. Um, I believe there is some money there. And then if you want to look around, there's nothing else I don't leave here except... Except that's the waypoint, that blue spot that you saw um, that I put on here. So Charlie's going to be in the C section. So there's C right there. And it's literally right here in this corner. You'll get When you get close to it, you'll see it. So, I don't know what kind of movie this is, but it looks goofy. Gotcha. I want to watch this sick-ass anime down here. <laughs> Alright. And then, so that's it. That's the that's the Charlie movie. Um, just realize, don't freak out when that alarm goes off, because that will attract zombies. But if you're, uh, if you're on it, you won't have to worry about it. Next one is going to be up here. This one's tougher to me, I think. Um, the best way to get around this is uh, not weapon. We want firecrackers. We want to keep this weapon. The reason why I'm going to pull out firecracker, so if you remember right in the first one, I came over here to see if it would work. You want to throw this and get them <laughs> right here on you, because that's exactly what I wanted to do. <laughs> uh, no. Uh, but anyways, I kind of did what, I guess I kind of got them away. You notice this wasn't open last time I was here. Remember, I thought I could grab the items before I went to Gaza, Gazi, and I couldn't because that wasn't opening. So what we want to do now is we want to just kind of pull them all away from that door right as best as we can using your firecrackers this is the best way to do it and then come to this door as quietly as possible and open it up yourself the minute we open this we just need to be as quiet as possible because there's going to be some guys here Did you notice? You just want to get around him there we go uh, and then throw another one out there just to, just to get them away from me. So you got time to kind of look around here because there's a bunch of stuff in here. There's the chocolates, by the way. They're right there. If you don't want to grab anything else, they're right here on this shelf. I just grabbed it. It's a bit red box. However, there's some other stuff in here you might want to grab, especially coffee being the biggest thing. Coffee is money, if I remember right. So just go ahead and grab all of it. There's no reason not to. And that is, uh, let's open this up. Is there alcohol or something? No, uh, household supplies are just good because that lets you make exploding uh, exploding stars, which is what I like. It's one of my favorite weapons so far in this game. Helps out a lot. So we're back outside, and now we can return back to Ghazi. The reason why we want to return to Ghazi and not do the mission is because once we start the mission, you will start nighttime, and we don't want that yet. We actually want to first finish this mission up. Uh, I believe this is the tunnel we want to go through. I believe. Let me double check. Uh, no, it's not. This is not the tunnel we want to go through. The tunnel we want to go through is over here. I keep getting them mixed up. <laughs> I keep wanting to go through the wrong one. 
So let's head over here. <clears throat> this is your safe, I believe. Right here, this is your safe house. So, and then once you're over your safe house, you're pretty much right next to the tunnel we need to get through, which is right here. All right, so now back to Ghazi, and we're going to give him his items, and then there's going to... Oh, this isn't... Is this it? Yeah, this is it. One of them, like, they have lashes through them, which kind of throws you off, because it makes you think they're the... They're like the radiated tunnel. It'd be nice if I turned on my <laughs> flashlight and knew what I was doing. Oh, I just, like, landed on them. <laughs> By the way, I found out, um, if you find, like, ambulances or big trucks like this, watch when I get near it. You can actually open it. And then there's like stuff inside. But I don't have enough. Well, I do have enough time. There we go. So watch out for those. Some of them are uh, very... I had a, I found a police fan. And it was a very hard uh, lock. And I couldn't open it. So unlike Skyrim. It, I don't know if I just didn't have enough time. Or I wasn't taking my time with it. But I wasn't able to do it. So we're going to head back to Ghazi. What up Ghazi? Yeah. Trying to make your mom happy bro. Your movie and your chocolates. Wait till mom see this. Well, Gazi wins again. Hooray for Gazi. <laughs> Gazi wins again. Right. Oh, yeah, I'll okay. just let myself in through the roof. So now you have to find a way in. If you turn directly around, you see the steps that lead up. That's where we got to go. I've tried many ways to get into this house without having to go up on top of here. And I haven't found a way. If you have some way of doing it, a secret way, a quick way of doing it, uh, leave it in the comments below. Tell us about it. Cause that'd be it save a lot of time than just having to go this way. Always look where you're going, cause you can you can I believe you can still keep moving left even once you reach that edge. So you'll just be moving left even though you're not going anywhere. So always keep an eye out where you're going or how close you are. You can probably make this jump. <laughs> and then we can go down this way. Now this part is tricky, cause it looks like oh maybe I can make this. I mean this is a game about parkour, right? Yeah, it is a game about parkour. It's also a game about using your damn brains. So, <laughs> so um, there's a yellow pipe up here, too, that can get you across. Now, with that being said, if you've leveled up your agility enough, it may you may actually be able to make that jump. Because once you level up, you can jump further and all this other stuff. I don't know if you can or not. You'd probably still be making a big risk. But, I mean, uh, it's, I'm just going to say it could be possible. Can be very possible uh, over here you can try to make that jump but why would risk it you're already up here you don't want to have to come back up here just go this way and then run over here and then drop onto this wooden part because it'll break but it'll break your fall so you don't die and it says it'll yeah but none of the zombies can get up here so you're good oh man i'm hitting these lockpicks good today open up this chest up here and then sick i got a knife and my inventory is full, damn it. <laughs> uh, but that's alright, because I got some stuff here I can just, like, get rid of. Including this. Yeah, let's dismantle that. Let's dismantle that. Um, there's stuff here, too. What, 24? Yeah, this 24 thing's got to go. Uh, so does this one. Let's get rid of those. Free up some room. Now, it says short, simple knife. And if you look at it, it has an attack of a damage of 20. But it's handling is 113, and the reason why that is, is because watch, like look how much, like how many times I can slash, and then how much, how quick my stamina doesn't go down. <laughs> I guess you could say. So just key, just realize that even though it has less damage, it's still doing, uh, maybe just as equal amount of damage, just because you can use it more, and you don't need to sit there and rest constantly as you do it. And later on, I, I think right now daggers are probably one of my favorite weapons. I may want to get enough money buy a really good dagger just so I can have it. And I feel like it slashes up zombies really good. Really, really good. So that's why I'm liking it right now. Uh, if I find anything better, I'll tell you. Uh, the cricket stick is pretty good too, and we'll get one of those here pretty soon. All right, so you're down here. I don't think there's anything. You can open the fridge, though. There's something in here for sure. Some coffee and another baklava. And I think that's it for here. Then well, <laughs> this is funny. <laughs> like he doesn't even give a shit. I'm he's like, watching. he's like, oh yeah. And then tragically, here's his mom. <sighs> well, anyways, <laughs> Mama let's, talk happy? To, let's talk to Gazi. Mama's real happy. Gazi got her chocolates and a movie. Oh, and he's watching the, the greatest thing ever on television. Well, okay. 
This is a weird line right here. So he's had different heads for his mom. <laughs> and he knows, like, she's not technically real, I guess. But in his mind, I guess she is. And look at the, look at the movie he's watching. Amazing. Uh, amazing. <laughs> wow, there's something wrong with him, man. And then he has, like, a toys and stuff still in his room. He's still, like, a little kid. Most romantic movie since love. It's just crazy. Crazy stuff. But but then you see this. <laughs> then you see this. Is this his room? Or is this his mom's room? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Because he has a goddamn diploma. <laughs> if it's him, he has a damn diploma. So he must have went nuts after... Uh, it's jazz. Is that what this is? A pound of knowledge. Anyways, uh, this is what you need. The tranquilizers right here. Because there's no other room, so that has to be his room. That's insane. He's insane. <laughs> Anyways, I don't think... I think I've tried these doors. You can't do anything with them. They don't have an open prompt. You have to go back the way you came. Like I said, I'm trying to see if there was... There's an, Like, this is a room, but it's not really anything. And then this is the way out. That's like it. That's his room. He has a diploma, or his mom does. I wonder where his mom did. I say, anyways, crazy stuff. Back here, the way down, it's just right into this trash can, and then we're on our way. So that mission is complete. We will be turning those. Well, now we'll be turning in the missions we have right now. Once we're done with this, uh, this last mission here, the actual stories quest, right? It's called Airdrop. So that's where we're headed now. It's a bit of a trek, not too far though. So let's head on over there. First thing to do before I get over there, though, is I need to contact the GRE. So we're going to do that first. Because I forgot to do that when I left the base. I should have done that when I left the base. So oh, it's going to be too late to tell you to do that because I left the base on the last mission, on the last video. But if for some reason you're seeing this part, when you leave the base to start these side quests, uh, do the GRE thing. Over so that way when you're coming this way, you're not going to have to worry about it. I believe this one is a guy who's just going to talk to you, that blue spot up there. So I'm not going to worry about it. What we're going to do is we're going to head all the way this way. And it's going to be a fun time. Like I said, okay, so here's the very hard lock, right? Lock picking very hard. I wasn't able to get that police van open. Uh, but that's all right. Maybe one day I will. I'm trying. I haven't. I haven't really looked at many of the other skills. I just looked at the skills that are connected to the ones I'm getting right now. Like I said, I did earlier, but I haven't really looked further down the tree, so I don't even know where the lock picking skills are at. I'm guessing in Survivor. That makes the most sense to me. So, um, I guess when I get further down the Survivor skill, I'll get them. All right, let's go this way. Let's start hopping around so we can get that agility up. If it lets me. <laughs> And what we're doing is we're trying to get back to these twin buildings over here. Almost there. There's a building. Oh, shit. Ran right into that. Like a maniac. Like a maniac. Maniac. <laughs> Alright, this is where we need to be. This is where he'll start calling his little call. Alright. DSX time. <laughs> Crane here. Report. Tower Report. boss is named Brecken, and he's definitely not your man. The other likely suspect is this warlord, basically. Local guy. Calls so he's basically saying that uh, Brecken's not the guy, Rise is the, the guy, more than likely. And we gotta, gotta make a meeting with him, so... If I don't succeed, they'll have to come up with something else. <clears throat> so we're gonna first job, try to do this well. airdrop shit. Stay on task. And get this Anis in for this group that I'm with right now. Because it's super important to get some Anis in. Super duper important. So that's what the mission is, basically. And now we're going to head that way. Uh, oh, I grabbed on it. Thank God. <laughs> I've been failing my jumps lately. and I've been using a lot of my med kits on fall damage. Which is not not, idea, not ideal. You don't want to have to use it on fall damage. But anyways, here we go. Through the through the pipes. I actually never ran through here before. There's that slide. <laughs> and if you hold L2, apparently you can lock on 
I don't know what I have. I must have a firecracker. I can't... I can't, um, stop this firecracker from happening, so I'm just gonna chunk it over there. And just waste one, I guess. Because I'm a moron. <laughs> There's a safe house here, and I think I'm gonna get it for the points when I get to the, the airdrop area. Oh yeah, look at that. Got another skill. So you're moving up on the agility. To me, I'm gonna buy the vault maneuver. Uh, jump over enemies as you run and hit R1 and you'll just jump over them. Uh, we'll check that out. Actually, I have yet to check that out. And then you got a drop kick, which looks insane. I've seen other people with it. Looks pretty cool. So let's, uh, let's, let's test this out right now. Okay. Yeah, that's freaking cool. Uh, uh. There you go. That's what that move does. That's actually going to be helpful here pretty soon. Doing that vault. I like it. It's ninja-esque. It's ninja We're building that ninja up. It'll be a super badass ninja here soon. A cauldron. Can I jump on up there? Way. I can jump on this, that's for sure. Well, that's a yes on that. Definitely ninja and up. Ah, ah, as I say that. <laughs> as I say that. Boo. Okay, so this yellow area is. That parachute is where we're headed. However, there's a house over here that we can get into. And I open up a safe house in this area. So let's do that first because it is right here. And there's, like I said, no point in not doing it. It's free. It's free. Um, Jade, I'm getting close to the drop zone. It's free experience. Oh, I was like, it paused right there. So safe. That's where we want to get into. Ugh, jump down. Let's get up here and let's get this. Let's get this puppy. You want to go up to the top, I believe. And, uh, well, actually, we can deal with these guys first. Oh yeah. See, I killed him in like one swipe of my stamina. I didn't use all my stamina. Up. When you get it back, that's that. That's why I like the knife. I don't know. I just this is really good. Um, so here you want to you don't want to do anything in here actually yet. What you want to do is use this. So we can put the fuses in, get this going, and then we're gonna go up top and finish off the zombies up here. There's not really a door to lock up since it's a building. All you have to do is just get rid of these guys. Let's see if I can vault off this guy. <laughs> no! Oh my god. Get out of here. You jerk. This is a good way to just take him down if you got him on the ground. It takes a little bit. I'm gonna make sure he's not dead yet. You can't kill him like this though, see? Sooner or later they die. And you don't and you don't use stamina for kicking. And uh, you don't waste your weapon. So if you can get them to the ground and they're solo like that, I mean, it's a, just a good way of taking care of them without using weapon damage and all that stuff. There's a statue on this desk, and there's a bed, obviously, and I think that's it. I don't think there's, like, a note or anything. There's your stash. Let's see. Um, if I... Well, let's change outfits. Let's uh, change some clothes. The other ones are getting sweaty. So now we look cooler, but we can't tell. Only people who join our game will be able to really see it. So... All right, so now we're gonna head to that parachute, which is over in this direction. The only thing I don't like about this is I don't know where a safe drop is off of here that I that I've seen. This is safe, kind of, if you can make it there without falling through. I got lucked out though. We're headed over here to this building. There's a crate. It looks intact. I'll check out what's inside. Is the crate is literally on top of the building? It's just weird because you think it'd be near the near the parachute. This is the best way I've I found. Is on this back side of the building, from the opposite way you came towards it. And then just keep jumping up. And you're bound to make it up there. Here we go. Let's open up this crate. See what's inside. Is it gonna be anything special? Is it gonna be a rocket launcher? Laser gun? Oh. Damn it! Nothing here. <laughs> it's nothing. It's zero. And then you. So from this point on, well, after this mission, I should say, you get random airdrops throughout the game. Um, it's up to you if you want to go after them or not, and they just give you random stuff, really. 
and if you don't get to their their time so they don't last forever so after a while it'll, you'll get a message saying that someone got it got it before you all that other stuff so you do gotta spend your time running over there and getting it so it, it is possible to lose them but they come every they come frequently Not like super frequently I guess I should say also on the minimap, if you see arrows that are like green and red, those are special zombies. And they're the ones that are either like the fast zombies. I think the fire zombies are on there too. But they're just, uh, they're all special like type of zombies. And they're not the regular ones. So just keep an eye out for that if you see it on there. I don't think it's some like friendly dude. Because <laughs> oh, it ain't. Shit. They're swarming like locusts. I don't remember him saying that in my other game. That's interesting. That's cool though. So you're gonna come over here to this Shit, first drop. Too late. Jade Rice's men got here first. <laughs> and Rice's men are here. Now, you can kill these guys. It is possible if you're extremely skilled at this game. I am not extremely skilled at this game. <laughs> so um but it is possible to kill them. I don't know if you get anything. I know you get you can get stuff from them, which will probably be pretty good stuff. So if you want to take the chance, sit here and try over and over again to take these guys out, uh, definitely go for it, because it's possible. However, they do take a lot of damage, and they are very strong, and they swarm you, and there's three of them, so. Might be a good time to have kept the gun for this moment, but we had to turn it in before, no, we're, we're going to, I don't have it anymore, do I? I get confused now because of so many things that's happened in my game. Oh, I still have it, but I don't have any ammo for it, if I remember, right. yeah. Um, it could have been a good point to keep it for this moment. But I don't think the stuff they give you is, like, important enough to, to account that you need to do that. As you notice now, the game's starting to get darker and darker. It means it's starting to take you to the moment. Oh, look. Look. Hmm. I really want to go in there and check what out what's in there, because there's probably something really good. However, he's probably going to be a really hard enemy. Um... Molotovs don't work extremely well against Nothing really works well against them. Firecrackers do work against them, though, which is kind of weird. See, he's kind of like, what? I'm going to go in here and check out the stash real quick. And he kind of, um, I don't know why I threw another one of these, but let's just do it. And then I'm going to throw a Molotov right on top of these assholes. And that's not going to probably do anything to him. we will kill all the zombies for sure. It's just going to piss him off. But I'm kind of dragging him out here because I want to uh, get him away from here. I know there's a zombie right here. Let's see if I can open this up. Man, that spot today seems to be the sweet spot. He, he can walk in here, by the way, and ruin your day. So just be careful of that. Oh, it's just a plain pipe. What a waste. <laughs> See, didn't do a lot of damage though because he kind of missed. Um, oh, Jesus. <laughs> the minute I walked in here and saw there were other zombies, I was like, really? Where are these guys coming from? Oh no. Oh my god. <laughs> That's how you can get screwed in this game. There's a perfect example. Do not do what I did right there and not be ready for it. I, sh I could have done a million other things and I just didn't do them. I was playing stupid right there. So, uh, man, that's twice now. That's pretty sad. Uh, anyways. <laughs> well, whatever. Let's uh, head over here. God, that's far away now. Okay. Let's not... I thought, why would it not... Never mind. As you can tell, things like that will happen <laughs> as I try to show you how to play this game. Shouldn't, because I should just be running to the objectives and showing you how to do it. But I got excited and I wanted to check that area out. And that's kind of what makes this game great, is it gives you that ability to say, Wait a minute, <laughs> stop making your guide. and Let's show them what it's like to just wander off the path a bit. And that's what happens <laughs> right there. You take your risks and then you may die. Now, something you haven't seen yet, and you'll see, I think, after this mission, you'll see that when you sleep, you can get some of your survival points back. I don't think it's ever all of them, but you do get some of them back. Oh, that scary method. That was a lot further fall than that. But we're not worried about that now. We're going to head straight to this objective because I've been wasting enough time already. 
being an idiot. Get off me. Get off me. <laughs> oh. They're being jerks. You guys are being jerks. <laughs> She's like, please don't Dude, hurt I'm yourself. There. I can do this. And you're like, I got this. I got this. I'm the hero of this game. I got this. Stupid knife didn't do jack squat <laughs> against anybody. We turn on our flashlight now because it's getting a little dark. If I remember right, it's like right. It's not right here. It's over this edge. You see that red fog? That's where you want to be going. Ooh, that was close. That could have been. That could have been hurtful. <clears throat> a health kit would have helped out a lot at that point, but like I said, I've been messing up on this one, and I've been using a lot of my health kits for stupid things. So, there are these guys right here. We are going to use premium throwing stars on these guys. <laughs> Doesn't instantly kill them, but it's fine. Unless that killed them. That one's dead. We're super ninjaing it up. We're going to use a uh, regular or exploding throwing star on this guy. Yeah. Boom! <laughs> and that should take care of those guys. And you're starting to hear the monsters. Alright. Let's, let's check this guy out real quick. Before I start the cutscene. on My world comes to hell. I'm going to hell here. Is there another zombie? Wait, where's that zombie at? Oh, he disappeared. There we go. <laughs> Anyways, you gotta clear the zombies out before it lets you open this for some reason. Hey, look! Bunch of Anna's in. Sweet. I can take it back and I can be a hero now. And everybody will love me. And they'll have a holiday for my name. Called Crane Day. <laughs> I can just turn these in, right? Very possible that Rise is our man. So if you find an airdrop containing Anderson, destroy it. What? <laughs> Why? It will force interaction with Rise. You can go under Brecken's auspices as an ambassador, if you will. But, but there are civilians depending on this stuff. Our plan is focused on the greater good. I hate, I hate when people that. are like, it's for the greater good. So I don't think you know what the greater good is. If you're saying that line... I don't think you know what the greater good is. <laughs> what that means. Oh, this is so horrible, though. You know, if this was a Bioware game, you'd get to make this choice. But it's not. So, the game makes it for you. <laughs> and you're forced to be a jerk. Jade, I'm at the airdrop. <clears throat> There's no antis in here. Fuck. Fuck. Oh, you can see where the storyline's already heading down. Like, they're gonna find out he did shit like this or something. Something he's gonna get caught. Then he's gonna have to explain himself. Shit. There's some secret spy or some shit. Heard me. You know, it's headed that way. Alright, here we go. The Eaters, they call them, I believe. Ah! So, this starts you out running in <laughs> this game. Turn on your flashlight and get going fast. As fast as you can. The alleyway right here is really good. And, um, making a jump up here. This is the this is my way of getting around all this. I wanna run, dude. So I dodged them art. Oh, I had them dodged when they saw me again. You kinda wanna just keep turning and climbing and turning and climbing, and sooner or later you'll dodge them. So like right now I have them dodged. If I just run this way, I think I'll be alright. Climbing is gonna be the bane of your existence sometimes, because it slows you down so much. But I got out of there so far. Now, you got to dodge the rest of them. <laughs> so they're going to keep... Oh, that's all right. Taking a little damage versus having to be chased by them is worth it. So we're going to try to get around these guys as much as possible. The best way to do this is to constantly look at your map. And then uh, dodge around their light, their little vision cone. That vision cone is what they can see. Uh, if you see an arrow on them, up or down, that means they're either below or above you. So you can use that also to stay out of their line of sight. Whatever you do, you just want to stay out of their LOS the best way possible. And then head to wherever you got to go to survive it. So here we are. We made it back, thankfully. And we're pretty safe now. So uh, I went the wrong way. All right. 
and then this explains to you one of the biggest mechanics of this game you get double experience points for for agility and power when you're running around and doing stuff at night however you're also in a very more dangerous and vulnerable state at night so you got to play with those odds and make good balance there you don't have to ever well i'll take that back there are missions where some of them have to be accomplished at night and there's one of them coming up actually however for most of the most of the game you can play it in day if you want if you're if you're just not willing to deal the night time however if you're more adventurous like me i like playing it at night a little bit more just because i get that little edge and also i get that agility and double power points uh, which is nice so i play it both ways i play it both ways that sounds wrong but <laughs> sounds horrible but i do i play it both ways <laughs> Um, this guy looks intense right here. This actually looks like one of Rise's guys, but it's not. Alright. So we're good. Um, let's head over to the shop real quick. Let's see. Did I go? Yeah, okay. We're good. We can go this way. He's in one of these rooms that I keep missing. Here he is. So we're going to go talk to this guy. So what I like to do here is first sell all my gray items. Right, and then I sell anything that's about to be busted. Like, no, not the knife, though. <laughs> anything that's blue, that's the electric weapon. These two I need to keep for now. Um, this pipe wrench can probably go. See, they don't sell for much, so that's why sometimes it's just better to get the piece from it. And then you want to sell your valuables, because there's no point. And the pushing triangle sells it all, or whatever button it is for your system. There is a sell-all button. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to buy... And we're gonna buy the gauze because that helps you build. Um, that helps you build med kits. We're gonna buy both med kits because that's always good. Buy the alcohol. If you need firecrackers or lock picks, just buy them. In fact, it's cheaper probably to buy them than use the equipment to make them. Only use the equipment to make these if you're in a dire situation. I would save that equipment and use it on something else when you can just simply buy these. So try to avoid trying to make these as much as possible. But they're also really cheap to make, so it's really up to you how you want to play that. I think I can use the stuff and other things though instead. So these things right here, um, I believe they depend on what your survival level is to get. So right now I'm not at survival level five or six, so I can't get these yet. And that's what that red red means. And then this is just by money. In fact, I can buy any of these. And this knife looks really, really like a good idea, but I'll save it out. And this actually looks like even a better idea. Ooh, man, I don't know. I might buy this. It's a it's an orange knife too. Dang. All right, we're gonna we're gonna go and buy that. Cause why not? <laughs> Cause why not? All right. Let's look at our inventory. We are going to. It's already equipped. Nice. And that looks that looks good. We're gonna put this. We're gonna put this back. Can I put a UV? Okay, I was just wondering if I could do that. And I can't. Okay. So we'll keep those out. And then we're going to make sure that it is the first thing equipped when I leave. So I remember I have the stupid thing. I don't know if I've picked up the parts for this guy. Because you get some every 24 hours. Looks like I got a claw hammer. Which is nice. I can sell that or do whatever I want with it. And then we're going to head upstairs. It's kind of what you... Every time you come back, just check those things out. That's why they're there on the first level. So you can quickly look at them all before you head up and do whatever quests piece. and things like that. Now I know how Brecken must have felt running at night. It is no picnic. Got to report to him and tell him I don't have any antis in. Lying to everyone stinks, but I know the GRE is working for the greater good. For the greater good. Uh, come on, come on. Come on, Cal. Come on, Cal. <laughs> Get your shit together, KC. This guy again is just God, likes, to, survive the night. likes to build up your ego and Too make you feel awesome. Run didn't work out. <laughs> Uh, talk to him and then come here and talk to this Alfie's guy real quick. He says he that someone's looking for downstairs. you. We'll deal with that in a minute after we turn in our two other quests that you remember us getting. The first two that we need to turn in are downstairs at Lena, I believe. The medic lady. Good work taking out that Antizin lab. You've saved a lot of it. So this is the drug mission. Danger. She's like, the blah, blah, blah. Destroyed. If you find empty the bottles, the there's tower. a $10 bottle bounty. But I have yet to find an empty bottle, so I don't know what she's talking about there um but maybe it is sponsor it and then, medicine. then you got the seizure medicine for brick and maybe challenged but he's did you meet his and, mom and then yeah. we talk about gossip he seemed happy <laughs> if mama ain't happy ain't happy ain't nobody ain't happy, nobody happy. Of which, that's my new saying ask me to pass this on to you 
with his thanks. Boji ain't happy, ain't anybody happy. And we got our champion. Uh, awesome mod. So we might put that on that knife. We'll check it out here in a minute. But we ranked up again. Sick. So let's put that on here. So this is an easy one. I think also get the crafting expertise. You get better crafting. You create more items from the same materials. Why not? It just it just makes your crafting more efficient. And you do a lot of it already. This is to me better than uh, bartering, which lets you save 10% uh, or lowers prices in shops by 10%. Whatever. I mean that can that would be worth it later maybe, but not right now. Um, and boosters still um, not gonna get boosters yet. Not gonna, not gonna get it yet. However, I can see how some of those can definitely be a very effective. Getting, not getting tired as fast, running faster, seeing better in darkness, a little more resistance to attacks. Sounds like a good idea. So definitely keep an eye on that one. Uh, ninjas can mix, and they are uh, alchemists in a weird way. I've seen Naruto. I know this, <laughs> um, but we're gonna do this right here. So we're gonna go with that and then we're done with talking to her and turning in our quest there and we're gonna head upstairs and we're gonna give our gun to mr farood or whatever his name is darud it's darud sandstorm <laughs> that's his name would it be funny if you got closer to his room you start hearing it his name's not darud though it's uh you got it it's, oh it's darud it's pretty close <laughs> it's to my old pawn shop you know? bump, bump. used to be the best in town hey Speaking of the I'm trying to think of how the song goes. I can hear it in my head. I just can't repeat it in my mouth. Bring me something from the shop. Maybe I'll, <laughs> maybe I'll clip in some sandstorm for this guy. So he tells you, hey, here's the, here's the key to my pawn shop. Uh, it's actually it's semi useful because that's where you get the cricket bat, and then there's a shit ton of just ingredients in his place. And then he wants you to go there and grab a toy for his son. Oh, look at his toy. His son, he looks so cute. He wants his toy. His toy. Anyways. That is that, and then we're gonna head downstairs and we're gonna finish up this mission. Report back to Brecken. And get it on, get it on, get it on. Brecken, boom, come boom. on. I mean, we need Anderson. I know, but buying from Rise? You can't be serious. Oh, for God's sake, the whole crew's here. I'm not scared. Absolutely not. We've it's not about being scared, Jay. She like, he like knows exactly who you are. It's not gonna go. Go. Posters are everywhere. <laughs> we're crying out loud. Everybody's like, well, are you fucking joking, bro? This rice guy has never seen my face are you, before. Are you joking? Clean slate, right? KC? <laughs> you guys are all dude bros. Look at him. Brickin's like, we need to talk man to man. I like watching this cutscene just because it's pretty cool at the end. She's like, oh, this is not going to get you laid. You sure you're up for this? <laughs> it has to be done, doesn't it? Well, I'm not going to argue. Why is this place is in the bum fuck here. nowhere? <laughs> Just find out what this will cost us and come back in one piece. Oh yeah. Yeah, that reminds me of Predator when Arnold shakes Apollo's hand. It makes me feel like a man. <laughs> Alright, let's head out. So we're good. Um we have the one we you get two little side quests here if you've done the side quests up so far. You get this one where you have to get the toy for the kid you have your main quest and then you have a quest where you need to talk to alfie i think his name's alfie he's the electrician of the place and you need to go i went down too far like i always do headquarters i didn't remember headquarters is where the elevator's at that's all i gotta do and apparently i can't do that so you gotta go around this gate thanks buddy for bringing my morale up let's go all right heading on out and you notice it hasn't changed from nighttime yet. So, like I said, from so now on, he's ready to deal with the devil himself. Rise, let him speak first. Since I'm supposed to determine whether or not Rice is the one who stole the GRE secret document. Well, this is the perfect opportunity. So, as you notice, from this point on, uh, nighttime and daytime cycles happen. It seems to me, as I played, the daytime cycles last way longer than nighttime cycles. Um, to me, it should be even, but maybe that's just the way I feel. Maybe it's just something I've noticed and it's actually not true. But to me, it feels like daytime is a lot longer than nighttime, which is, I guess, a good thing. Because <laughs> nighttime is a lot harder. Uh, but anytime you go to your safe house, whatever time you're at, if you go to sleep, you'll wake up in the opposite time. So if you go to sleep, you'll say, hey, wake up when it's daytime and vice versa. So keep that in mind. I've never checked to see who this was. 
Jade? Yeah, I copy. Something wrong? No, no. Okay, so here's what happens. Listen, Crane. We all appreciate what you Okay, she's doing. just like gushing over you right now. This guy <laughs> This guy's named Blake. He has a mission. And so does Alfie. I'm doing I think it because if we Alfie. don't get answers in from Rice, people will start to die. Is that his name? You know, yeah, Alfie. If you pick up his mission, that I other mission disappears for some reason. Watch. So we're gonna pick his up because he's the one I did. Most decent man I've ever known. Let her finish talking about Amir and how she starts loving you. I don't blame you. Look how pretty it is out there. Knew the risk. And Crane, what I want to know, know is over that bridge, is that area well. infected by zombies or is it just the area but, across yeah. the bridge where we're at? We'll talk when I get back with the There's not much okay? about the history okay. of the world right now. Just that I know of. Just come back in one piece, all right? All right, lady. God, keep it in your pants. Jeez. <laughs> all right. And then all of a sudden, my control starts vibrating right now, and I don't know why. Oh, when it vibrates, it's the airplane. You hear it? So that's it dropping an air air uh, airdrop. you Alfie. But I'm not gonna be able to get that. Electricity. Building maintenance. So his mission. It's after already dark. Let's just say I'm here to help. Basically, he has a plan to do some sick ass uh, electrical light show <laughs> for the bad guys so that's his plan now like I said if you picked his up let's go over here and look at Blake 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 is like no I don't want to give you my mission anymore oh I don't like I don't like you anymore well screw you Blake all right screw you bro <laughs> uh, he might give it up later <laughs> sounds wrong okay so now we're ready to head out and we're gonna do these missions now before we head out this door and start a whole bunch of shit coming after us let's check out what we got right so we got voltage we have two substations we got to deal with we got uh, a pawn shop we have to go to and then we got this this will be the last thing you do obviously so the first thing the first thing we want to do is we want to hit up this voltage station and the way we want to do it is we want to do the no northern one first, and then we want to go to the eastern one. The eastern one is next to Gunslinger's Pawn Shop, and then the Pawn Shop is next to the end of this mission, which is the main substation, and then we can do that one. And then after that, we can head over to Rice. So that's that's the pathing we're going to take. So let's go over here and look at what I was talking about. So Gunslinger, if we track on the map or show on map, you have this substation, right? Actually, this is the substation. This is the pawn shop. Did I click the pawn shop? I must have clicked the pawn shop. And here's the northern substation, right? Then there's nothing over here. There's really no other mission that comes over here. However, if you do do Rise as a mission first, you end up talking to a guy named Kareem, and then Kareem sends you on missions to do antenna. And one of the antennas, I believe, is down here here somewhere I don't remember exactly where all the antennas are <laughs> there's two there's two that you go to and they are relatively close also to these missions so you can also decide to do Ryzen's mission first do the antenna missions and then use the antenna missions to to get guide you around here also it's 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 done either way I like to get these out of the way first just so I don't have to worry about them anymore and there's kind of a cool circular path with it that doesn't take too much back and forth action so the very first thing we're gonna do is go to this northern one it's up to you how you want to tackle it I'm going this way. all oh, this knife looks awesome and we're gonna head out and I'm gonna turn on the flashlight just so you guys can see a little better uh, the brightness works also if I wanted to but plus I can see better with the flashlight I'm not gonna lie so as you notice, I'm I'm literally if you're if you could watch me on a webcam right now, you would see me just staring at the upper right corner of my screen. And the bad part about night is you still gotta deal with regular zombies, and they're the ones that can screw you over. But if you find a nice little patch like this, just go for it. There's no reason not to. Uh, also watch out for drops like that. And we are gonna make our way around these uh, Metal Gear Solid <laughs> um, vision cones that are popping up. How sick would it be if there were just Metal Gear Solid soldiers? <laughs> and you, what was that noise? Huh? What was that noise? Getting stuck like this is is very hazardous, especially if you got monsters. I love the little knife Steven Seagal stances he takes <laughs> as he's running around. Whatever you do, just try to dodge as much as you can. Staying on top of things is also a viable. A viable way to get around can I open this no I can't um getting down there is what I need to do but I need to watch out for that guy that other guy's above me so I should be good with that as long as I stay outside I, uh, see that was perfect since that other guy on my left was above me he didn't see me 
And then since the guy below me, I was kind of above him, he kind of hard time seeing me too. So I ended up being able to sneak right by those two guys. And then we're going to run this way. I believe you want to stay low to the ground because the substation is down. Okay, so this guy coming up towards me might be able to see me. Oh, he's actually above me, so I'm good. I'm good with that. Sick. That's actually awesome. Again, okay, use those arrows. Did I just go to rise? Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, I thought I had... Oh, I went to the orange and not the not the blue. I'm an idiot. Okay, well, let's do it this way then. Wish me luck, kid. Uh, I was completely running the wrong way. This is why when I do this on Twitch, people yell at me. And then they're like, dude, you're going the wrong way. <laughs> um, so let's just go do this first then, since we're already over here. Now I've wasted time. Don't shoot! Don't shoot! Hands up! What the fuck do you want? I'm here to see Rice. Brecken sent me. Brecken? That asshole in the tower? <laughs> All right. What does he want? I've come to make a deal. What kind of deal? These guys look the awesome. Kind I make with Rice, not with his flunkies. Dang, right. you're pretty ballsy <laughs> saying that to guys with guns, and all you have is a stupid knife. So they let us in. And we're able to go, and we get to meet Rise, this psychotic asshole. <laughs> About to find out. Let this cutscene go. It's pretty cool cutscene. How long have we been friends, Osman? If you might recognize this guy. This poor guy. That you would steal from me. Haven't I seen you somewhere before? Uh, Did no, bro. <laughs> it's the guy there when you drop out of the parachute. Or your left. Left. Hmm. Was that my left or your left? Oh, <laughs> what a douche. Fool you, I meant right. <laughs> right. That sucks. Well, that guy got his arm chopped off. Or his hand. What do you want? I'm here to make a deal. A deal. For fantasy, no doubt. Desperate fantasy, times. no doubt. Is this like Antonio Banderas? And what do you offer in return? Hmm? Your services? Your loyalty? Perhaps I should take both. These are the dude bros of the game. <laughs> He's one of ours. Do what he asks of you, and Rise will consider giving your people some antazin. Understood? I don't seem to have a choice. Perceptive. <laughs> Alright, and then look where it points you to. It's like, hey! You get kind of a rusted up fucking bloody machete. That has some pretty good decent attack power, so we're gonna take that. Because why not? It's a machete. Alright, since we're here, we might as well go talk to this guy in here. And now we've entered their little base, their little hideout. I met Again, Rice. I did Indeed, not want to do it this way, but we'll do it this way anyways. He's also the I, GRE's rogue operative. Gotta be adaptive. I've gotta cooperate <laughs> with this piece of shit. Not only because of my mission, but also because he's got a ton of antizen stockpiled. <laughs> it's pretty cool. So now you, so now you know uh, he's the guy that Jerry is looking for. So at least you're heading in the right direction on all parts. <sighs> all right. So this place has a shop, and it has a lot more expensive items in it. So I'm not gonna care about looking at it. What I am gonna care about is getting this mission started. So here's Kurtigan. He's right here. He kind of looks like a pretty cool guy. He looks like someone from, like, Command and Conquer. I don't know why. If you notice, he has the same plan that the tower guys have on the wall. I just think that's just a repetitive <laughs> repetitive picture or motif they use on walls, but it's funny. Are. It's very noticeable, that's why I don't understand how they do that. I'm Karim. Crane. Karim. An American. I have an uncle there. Lives in Texas. You from I live Texas? in Texas. You a cowboy? I'm not from a cowboy. Chicago. Okay, Al Capone. <laughs> We'll be in constant contact over the radio. That way I can make sure you get where you need to go. And where's that exactly? You're going to be climbing antenna towers and switching on shortwave radio modulators. Most awesome. of my men are too tower slow, climbing. too fat, or too Sweet. drunk to climb a tower like that <laughs> without killing themselves. Well, this actually this mission is a little tedious, climbing these towers. It's not hard or anything, it's just tedious. To speak for you. It's no Far just Cry mission. Fail. Where you get to just take he a helicopter no up to the top of the tower <laughs> and just do it that way. Uh, was this chair gone? It was like flickering there. Anyways, um, that's Kareem for you. And he sends us on the other missions. 
you can actually go to sleep here, which is what I'm planning to do. Because climbing these... Uh, oh, this guy looks awesome. Light flickering is not so much. So you can wait till morning. Which is what we're going to do. Okay, it's been one hour. I only had an hour left. That's awesome. So it's daytime now. We won't have any stalkers out. It's just a little easier climbing the towers without the stalkers running around. And especially since on one of the towers we meet a new enemy. And I don't want to have to deal with the new enemy. And eaters and all this other stuff running around. So if you want to do the tower mission, start the, start at daytime. The only reason I wanted to keep it night a minute ago was one, I like, like I said, I like running around at night. But also because one of the missions require it to be night to accomplish it. More than likely, by the time I would have went through the whole circle of quests, I wouldn't have been able to get there by nighttime, so I would have had to sleep anyway, so it's no big deal. And again, going the wrong way has no real big deal either, it's just I get to do this mission too while I'm doing the other ones. So now, let's first contact the GRE. Let's get that out of the way. That's always a good thing to get out of the way. And did it take me... It's kind of weird at night or during the day. Where? Oh, here we go. Right. This is the way I always got out. Um, you can jump to that second level. You could take the ladder too, but it takes ladders. And then we can just drop here, and down here, and we're out of there. Then we can go talk to the GRE up on this, I think it's this hill or this bridge or something. Yeah, it's on top of this train. Not this one, but the one next to it. It's this one, I believe. It's a weird one to pick, by the way. I don't know why. <laughs> In fact, I think this one... No, I guess this one does sit higher. But then you gotta move lower. Weird. Crane. So, like, Report. that's your home base. That's the tower that comes from. There's no question. That's Suleiman. Guy's a psychopath. He's gone from ruthless politician to fucking warlord. Uh -huh. Is he aware of your affiliation with us? No. He thinks I'm just nope. a guy from the tower. In fact, he's making me jump through hoops before he'll give me any antizen. Acknowledged. Continue to do as he asks. Remember, we need that file. Great. Nice <laughs> Crane out. <laughs> All right. Okay. So now, let's look at what we got on quests. So we still have these two quests, right? Now we got this quest also. So we got to find this uh, communication tower. We are here. The first one is up here, so let's just knock this one out of the way because it's not going to be anywhere near the other quests. So let's head this way. And you see the tower from here. That's it right there, if I remember right. Awesome. That's super far away. I still have yet to use this knife, which I don't mind. Save it up. That house I thought was a little closer, but it's not, so let's just not worry about it. What exactly am I doing? Radio communication has been pretty spotty in the quarantine. And we're just gonna head straight to this until will help boost the signal so rise can communicate with outlaws at the far reaches of town. Well, that's a benefit for here? everyone, not just rise stuff in here. Perhaps, but the emperor uh, must I'm monitor wary now the after I died a couple times. <laughs> what I'm doing here, get that aerosol, more aerosol, a power cable. Power cables are good, it's like Chinese food on the desk. Some gauze. Gauze is also really good. And I'm doing a little exploration I didn't really want to do, but I, I'm telling you, it always sidetracks me. Even even when I tell myself not to do it, it still sidetracks me. Um, I saw an orange thing. Uh oh, airdrop. My controller's vibrating. You can hear it. Where is it? Oh, it's right here. Oh, it's like right there. So let's go check this airdrop out. He's literally right next to me, so it's not a bad idea, probably. There's also a guy who needs help over here. Oh no, they're psychopaths. We're not gonna worry about that. <laughs> that's, that's probably gonna be me dying again, so... We'll let that go, but let's go, uh... Oh man, there's a... Oh, there's so many things all at once. Let's get to the safe house. How about that? I love how you can get up here. This thing should like break the minute you jump up here. I want to do this. So let's uh let's do the oldest trick in the book. Firecracker. Molotov cocktail. Right? Just to get rid of these guys, because they're gonna be annoying and I don't I wanna do this really fast. 
Is that all of them? That was all of them. Or no, it wasn't. This guy was so right. Caught on fire. <laughs> ninja it up! <laughs> I'm telling you, ninja's the way to go, guys. If you guys don't know, it's the way to go. Pick up all this stuff real quick. So, like I said, there's really, if you run across a, a safe place, just do it. There's no point in not doing it. Even if there's a supply drop, there's more supply drops. There's no reason to not grab this, though. I'm always check to see if there's other things around here. Unless my stash, but more than likely I'm not going to get that. Uh, I'm not going to get that supply drop. More than likely, it's not going to happen. I can try though. It seemed like it was relatively close, but it doesn't look like it. I saw it coming down off the plane. Where's the Where's the antenna relative to where I'm at? Okay, we're just going to go to the antenna because it's right here. No sight tracking. Mission, mission, mission. Do the guide. <laughs> tell you, I'm turning like this into a let's play. Okay, so this is the first antenna, Frame, and you will antenna. meet one of your first enemies and get that exploding diamond, uh, exploding star out because you're gonna need it. And this lovely guy happens to be here, and he sets. Oh shit! I'm surprised that blew me up. Um, I'm, I'm fine with that. See how it says there's air, air things stolen. All right. New guy. Oh, Jesus. He hits you with the first one, but I don't think it does any damage. <laughs> this is pretty funny com conversation. <laughs> I'd have probably said the same thing. So this is what you want to do. He's dead. <laughs> he is now not in your way anymore. That is why the exploding ninja stars are the best way to go in this game. <laughs> As for me right now, you can climb these these things if you get on the right side of them, or maybe it is this side. Oh, wait, no, they can't be gated, so you got to figure out another way up first. Which I believe is always a, yeah. There's a ladder here. There we go. So I said this gets tedious. This is very Far Cry 4-ish. Then you can climb this way. Up. Oh. And we are gonna climb up some more, and then there's another ladder. Falling from up here is gonna kill you, by the way, so don't do it. <laughs> Didn't really probably need to explain that, but you never know. So there's a certain height where like you'll always get one health, but then after there's a certain height where it doesn't matter anymore. And you will die from that height. I'm gonna go to the right. I hate that this is and then what we're gonna do is I believe we're not there yet, we gotta go up a little more. Oh, sorry guys, I had a sneeze. I turned off my mic <laughs> to do it. Oh. Still trying to get over that little cold that I have. You want to go behind you. There it is. Always look for the yellow. The yellow is the guide, right? And then now you can climb this part. Once it's not gated, you can climb it almost like a ladder. But once you reach the curved part, you can't, which is weird. You think you'd be able to just climb that too, but you can't climb the curved part. So we're gonna still going up. Let's follow the way. Oh, there's a zombie up here? I've never had a zombie up here. That's weird. That's pretty cool. I've never had a zombie. That's crazy. <laughs> I didn't... I was surprised. Oh, shit. That surprised the shit out of me. That almost... I almost failed that right there. And things like that kind of ticked me off a little bit because, like, I clipped through it. Whatever. Or it didn't let me do it. it. should just not let me do another... There's another drop. You hear it? Where's it at? Oh, there it is. Oh, dude, look. There it is. <laughs> That's so cool. I love that. That you can see it. Oh, it's landing, like, right there. Oh, well. <laughs> Nothing I can do about that up here. <laughs> Alright. Am I not there yet? I guess... No. Yeah, I am there, because it should be... Did I miss it? It's a control panel. Oh, no. I gotta go. Um... Time out. Alright, I'm gonna do it the way I did it before. We're gonna climb all the way to the top. 
Oh no. No, no. This is the top, so this is not actually where you want to be. You notice your guy's all wobbly and stuff, which makes sense, I guess. <laughs> You're all the way up here. You can grab the pouch and the loot. And then grab this battle flag while you're here. I call it battle flag. They just call it a flag. And then you're kind of just up here. I don't know why this is up here. <laughs> but I guess that's cool. And then what you want to look for. Is there's a. Oh. Oh my god, guys. I'm retarded. <laughs> I did all that. And I forgot to. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm jumping down is scary as hell. Alright, well, what we're gonna probably do here is, since I messed up horribly, he doesn't want to jump down for some reason. We'll take that, I guess. That's fine. I'm gonna make my way back down, and then I'm gonna cut. Uh, I'm gonna cut right here, because I forgot to. After I killed the goo guy, I was so excited by using my, my exploding stars, I forgot to. I forgot to, um. I can't believe I forgot to turn on the power. I was like, why isn't it up here? And as you can tell, you can't do anything about it unless you turn on the power. So that's the quick way. Now, maybe I won't have to cut. I'll just do this again. Now, this will work. I forgot to open this. I got so excited by exploding the guy up there. I was like, people are going to think this is the... Oh, shit. How thick is that? Like, there was nothing I could do about that. I'm just going to turn these on real fast. Get beat up a bunch of. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Ninja my way out of there. <laughs> Alright, now we're good to go. Oh, Alright, back up the mountain. <laughs> Unless I kind of remember where I gotta go. Yeah, I'm sorry about the. Um, being an idiot? <laughs> I guess you can say I can turn off the light. Jeez. It's almost nighttime again, but the good thing is we don't have to worry about. Wrap things up, guys. That's pretty cool. I like the warning that she gives you. Not on the way to the tower. I'm up a tower, though. I'm an idiot. Alright. God, that sucks. <laughs> oh, man. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Can I... Can I climb this? Alright. We'll take that. So where do I go now? Let me turn this way. <laughs> yeah, you sure uh, turn the right way. That's a tip <laughs> that anyone can use. I can't see that yellow. It's harder to see at night. It's interesting. Now we're on this part. This part's a little faster. Oh, okay. You see that? That's what I'm talking about here. There we go. <laughs> Things like that will happen to you and it will piss you off, I promise. Okay, we got to look for the, the power source here. It's already made it up to the top. You don't have to go all the way up. There's a ledge you gotta go to that has what you're looking for. And it might be, yeah, it's this one right here. Look for the one with all the cables on it. This is where you wanna be. You don't wanna go all the way up to the top. However, as shitty as it is, oh, shit. this one doesn't have anything in it. Someone already scavenged this thing for parts. There's nothing up here to switch on. Okay, so. Yes, it is. <laughs> so, we're going to look at our map. And as I wiggle around, it's way... Look at this. He says it's not too far. My ass is not too far from there. It's freaking way far. So, what we're going to do is we're going to hit this up next. And... Uh, get it done. I can't believe I forgot to hit that switch. Like, <laughs> I'm still, like, kicking myself over that. It's alright, though, I guess. Did no one get that supply drop yet? Is it right here? What's this yellow? Oh, no. This ain't it. Look at those guys just taking it. Boss-like. Alright, it's almost nighttime. This is getting a bit scary. This second antenna isn't... I am serious. Like, what is with these guys? Just Usually you can just run... Look, Sagat. You can just run right by them. And they don't do anything, and all of a sudden, I swear as you level up, it gets a little more difficult. Run over them. That's what I need to do. Use my vault. <laughs> okay. 
the time. Night is almost here, and you're cutting it close. Yeah, I know, but I'm gonna have to do this, so I'm boss like that. And here they come. It's coming. It's getting there. Am I on the outside of the map? <laughs> I feel like I am. I think I am on the. I can't be here. This isn't gonna work. Where did I? What did I do? That's where I need to go, but I don't want to go through it this way. This sucks. <laughs> this sucks. Major walls. Where the? What is going on? Just constructed a wall that I can't get over. Time out. What is going on right now? Oh, it's just a big complex, just in my way. <laughs> I'm telling you. I need my light on here in a second. All right, there we go. I'm going to that that tower. You can make it without getting caught. It'd be nice. Do do do, long treks through the forests are lovely. This is where the game started getting a little tedious to me on the running that they make you do. This is a cool. This cool gas station lights up actually at night. It's kind of cool. All right, so here we are. You're just gonna climb your way up. I believe there's a ledge here, and then here, and then up here. And there's voltage Greenland all around the second it. antenna tower. And the fence it's is electrified. Right I think someone's inside. That will be Alexei. And probably his son Christoph. I find them tiresome. Don't <laughs> let them stand in your way. You've got to get inside and turn on the transmitter. The cool thing is, you just climb up this mountain the and there's like... A, there's a guy who's like, what the fuck do you want? I'll show you what I want. Watch. Ugh. <laughs> And I believe you are able to just climb this if you're looking in the right direction. I think uh, if you go on the inside and you look up, you just climb up. You don't have to talk to him. Now, you can talk to them, and he's like, what do you want? And you're like, I'm going to climb your stupid tower, and there's nothing you can do about it. And he's like, well, why? And then you'll be like, because I'm working for Rise. And he's just like, he's like, oh, all right. <laughs> That's pretty much the gist of it. That was it right there. Uh, at night, this is going to be so much harder to see. You want to go through here, so I'm going to climb the outside here. This is another one when you can climb to the top, and it has a little trick at the top that makes it a little easier to get to the top, and I'll show you why it's a, it's a pain in the butt when we get there. But for now, just make your way to the top like usual. Can't go that way. Okay, so right here, you got to make this jump to this ledge. It's so hard to tell at night <laughs> where you're going. But I'm glad at least the monster guys aren't up here. So that's a plus. <laughs> look at the positives. Always look at the positives. I sure hope this fucking climb was worth it. <laughs> I love that line. That's good. I'd be saying the same thing. I wouldn't even be up here, but I'd be saying the same thing <laughs> if, I, if I had to deal with this crap. This part right here is tricky. It's kind of like, where do I go? And if I remember right, there's a ledge right here you can grab right above you. And it's really tricky. I think you're supposed to actually go over there. But I grab this one right here, and then I climb up some more. And then I, if you move over to your left, you can climb through it. Like that. And I don't know if you're supposed to do it like that or not, but that's how I do it. Now, this is where you can end the mission, so do this first before you climb to the top. And this thing's still intact. Let's see if it so was worth it. Hey, Kareem, second transmitter's up and running. Is it working? Kareem, do you we're going to continue. We're going to continue up while he's doing this. Since we're here, you might as well grab this stuff because if you ever want to collect everything, you're going to have to anyways. So right here is the tricky part. What you're supposed to do is you're supposed to walk across this ledge. And I got the runner outfit. And you're supposed to jump to that ledge, and then you're supposed to jump up those yellow things to the top. It is tough. You'll most likely miss this ledge a bunch of times. I missed it all the time. What you want to do is you want to get on this ledge and walk to the edge right here and then just jump up like that. 
and it makes it makes it so much easier <laughs> so much easier so we'll just do that it's way easier to do it that way and then we made it up here and we got an agility level up for it which is awesome because let's look at what we got here so we got two more now we got survivor and you're like oh you're gonna have to pick a booster or barter but no i got master backpack now which is again an obvious choice now you can carry even more stuff so definitely pick that up and then agility um free running adept there's no question about it health regen will probably be the next one and it's probably a good idea to get it maybe drop kick if you want but get this first because it makes you better at running longer you climb more quickly agility and it's noticeable it's not like it's not noticeable so definitely pick that up and then we're gonna mark our way down and I don't, like i said i don't know how to get down safely so i do it like this <laughs> and i just grab stuff as i fall um what we want to do is we want to get back on the level with the yeah here we go with these hooks on it Look how pretty it looks at night, though, when you're not being chased around by a bunch of monsters. It's actually really pretty. Um, and you can't see Jack Squat, right? <laughs> I mean, look at it. It's so pitch black. All right. We're going to head now. We're going to go do our other missions. Uh, we're going to go first to this northern one. So let's look at this. It's going to always take you to the eastern one first. But go to the northern one right here. And this is going to be a tough run. So let's hope for the best here. As you notice, it's on your map mark now. Go down the right zip line so that you get a good, good head start. And it's going to be about. Eh, it's not going to be too big of a run. We should be able to make it. I'm hoping I can get through this part right here. You see it in the middle, that like subway area. Where's my uh, my thing's all jinxed. There, there's my cursor. This area right here. I think it's just the highway, though. I think I'll be able to go under it. So, we're heading to the blue one first. Alright, here we go. This is going to be a trick. I may die. Let's see what happens. Turn on our flashlight. And get ready for the fun. <laughs> Already failing. Okay, let's, let's do the number one thing first now. Get some med kits going. Let's get at least two going here. And then we're going to make some uh, more exploding stars. Because they are sweet. Action. As you notice now, I make eight instead of five when I make one of these. Uh, we're going to make some flares. And we're going to make some Molotovs. And what are we at here? Uh, let's make another exploding star because I can. Let's see. And we'll make a we'll leave it like that. We're gonna go to my inventory before we head out. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up my inventory for my nighttime run, which is gonna consist of a UV flashlight. Um I was gonna say a Molotov, but now look at all this room I have. <laughs> uh we're gonna put a Molotov on there. So let's do Molotov. Flare, flare definitely. Um and UV definitely. So we're gonna have those on here for sure. Because we're going to need those as we run through here just in case shit happens. So we already got two guys right here that are below me. They look like they're both below me. So maybe if I can get on this thing. I don't know if I'm allowed up there. Can I grab this edge? Sometimes you can grab the edges like that. Right? And get up on top. And then maybe they won't see me up here. Right? Use every advantage you can get. Like that. And that will help me get through all that stuff. And then there's some stuff up there. But I don't want to be near that light. And that guy is above me. So let's go down below him. Definitely make your plans through here, people. Like, there's no reason to be in a rush. Uh, definitely take some time running through. They can't see you very well. As well as you think, anyways. And you can definitely make some very quick headway. If you just kind of get used to making these runs. Again, he is below you. In fact, he's like right there somewhere. He's... Uh, I can't see him actually. Oh, there he is. I see him right there. I'm pointing at him. So he's looking at me kind of right now. Oh shit, he's coming up here apparently. So let's go this way. And away from this asshole. <laughs> okay, he kind of saw me for a brief second, but I just took off. So I'm good. We're in a safe area now. So we're right here, we're pretty safe. 
Who's that? Oh, this guy's selling stuff. Let's check him out. Because these guys usually have some crazy stuff. Hook blade. Pretty good. Heavy hewing axe. That's awesome. So, I uh, always check these guys out. Buy a gauze. Uh, he has flammable liquid, which we never bought. So buy that, because that's gonna be that's gonna be pretty cool. And I'll show you what that does if I have the ability to do so. Buy that up, and we're pretty good for now. Could have bought a blade to maybe help with uh, more throwing stars, but we're good. Okay, so this is your first um, first electronic outlet place. Uh, so we're no, it looks like a plane's falling down. Let's open this up. It's a lock pick. They kind of don't spawn monsters here, so you can do this. Mother thank God for an easy one. This is ridiculous. Did that land really close to me? I'm waiting for one to just, like, land on me. I believe I there might be a... No, there's no zombies. There's a turn chest. The switch on. The so we got here actually pretty quick. I'm surprised. That was really fast, actually. And awesome too, we did it at night, so we got some boost in XP, even though I didn't really kill anything. No, I don't fight things at night. So. <laughs> um, it's this one right here. So this is the northern substation. Good. And now we're going to head now to that orange the dot for the eastern one. Now remember, you can't jump on barbed wire fences, so you got to use your... Uh... Okay, so there's a monster over there, let's avoid him. Let's just go this way. I'm gonna make a straight run right here. That guy looks like he wants to come towards me, so I'll run kind of angled away from him. Because he looked like he wanted to chase me down a bit. Ain't gonna let that happen. I'm smarter than him. So we're gonna. Oh shit. There's a guy right in my path, of course. Let's angle away from him again. Oh shit, there's a there's a house right here. I want this house. Damn it. Isn't this the... Oh, did I not get this? Is that a... What is that? Why is that so big? Oh, maybe because it zoomed in. I was like, what is that thing? It's got such a big vision cone. I really want this safe house. Because I'm here. There's no point in not getting it. But I'm afraid of what's in here. Um, let's put up the exploding stars in case I need to do some quick uh, action with it. Nope, that's not the way in. It might have been on the other side. I'm pretty safe right here. Oh, okay, I remember. Okay. That's some BS. I got six, six self packs, though, so I'm going to use one right now. And then, um, got a backstab on him, I guess. That's what happened there. Uh, let's go down here. I ain't got time for you, bro. I want to I wanna get this done. Alright, that looks... These guys are all coming down here, if you notice. They hear them dying, so that's why they do this. But I don't know if they know to come down here or not. That's why it's dangerous to do this at night. But, I got this. <laughs> okay, we got it. Sweet. Awesome. That's what I wanted. I wanted to get that out of the way. Um, looks like they all left because the UV lights came on. So they are like, shit. <laughs> Which is awesome. Oh, come on. I'm barely hurt, though. Okay. Back on track. We're headed back. Remember, we're headed over there. Run along these pipes. Make life a little easier. And that is where we're headed right here. Again, another one where you gotta... Kind of wing your way around. There will be monsters in this one. If I remember right. That one's not gonna pay attention to me. And then we're just going to end this one's life right now. Because I ain't got time for that shit. Again, noises will draw the shit out of these guys. So, here we're going to get a... A time freeze? Look at that. <laughs> uh, um, got an electric cutter. Okay, we're turning this light off for now. 
I don't think they can get in here. I think all they can do is stand around the outside of it. I think. <laughs> That's me thinking that, so. And what we're going to do is we want to hit this switch. I thought we did. Oh, it's sorry. It's the switch. <laughs> it looked the same to me. All, All right, right, so now that's that station. And then what we're going to go do real quick is we're going to hit up the pawn shop, which is right here. Two down, one to go. You're doing good, Crane. But we got to be careful now because there's a guy right next to us. I think the have caught a whiff of you. Roger that. The pawn shop is really close to here. Shit, he saw me. Okay, so he saw me, which isn't good. Shit, shit, open this up. Fast, fast, faster! Damn it. Wow, I lucked out. So hardcore right there. These are why those exploding storing are so good. And why med packs are also cool. Always have med pack. Look at this. <laughs> Wow. Okay. Close this. Okay, now we're in the pawn shop. <laughs> With a pile of dead zombies in front of us. You saw how quiet I got right there because I was like super concentrated on what I needed to do. Uh, I'm sorry about that. Uh, I wasn't expecting to get caught like that. But when you do, you do. And we got good experience for it. So let's just deal with it. So if you hold X, you're going to see all this stuff light up. And that's what we want. So there's another pet pack here. There is a bunch of just stuff. So just start grabbing. There's a ton of lockpicks in this blue box. There's some rusty pipes, hammer, and you got a bunch of just hammers and nails and metal parts and nails, blades and nails. <laughs> so just loot everything. And right here is the cricket pet. So just in case you want to know where that's at right off the bat, even though I started picking up everything else. The toy that you're looking for is right here for the kid. And I think that is it. Yeah, there's one more thing right here. Let's grab the duct tape. And then what you want to make sure you grab on your way back is there's a note on the wall. And then if you open this up, there's another note right here next to the cash register in this drawer. So just grab those two things. And we did it. We survived that. Now, the only problem is to finish that electric mission, you have to turn it back tonight. So <laughs> guess what we're going to go do? I'm going to go do that real quick. Attention, everyone. This is Brecken. If anyone uh -oh. sees double ASAP. He's making sick ass he's techno music. So. <laughs> no, gun. that's dark weed, but I think. Oh no. So, when we run over here, the key thing is let's take a quick look at our map because there's going to be something. This is your safe house. Uh, and we need this to be nighttime. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show this area off in daytime so you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about. And then we're going to come back, make it nighttime, and then do the mission. And the reason why is just easier to see what I'm doing during the day. If you come here, you're going to realize something really crazy. And that is station, that Alfie. there's a shit ton of zombies here. Like a shit ton. And they're all after your ass. Like seriously, look at them. They're moving super fast all of a sudden. So what you want to do is you want to go to that building over there. And the way to do it is you run through these zombies on top of these boxes. As long as you're on top of these boxes, zombies can't get you. So stay on top of the boxes. And you're going to make your way to that building. And in that building is the electrical box you need to hit. However... Um, you can only do this mission at night. This part of the mission at night. You can do the other two parts where you hit the substations during the day. But this part has to be at night. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now. What we're going to do is we're going to run back to our safe house, which is over here. And you'll remember this place from the beginning of the game. It's the place where Dr. Zero is at and where Spike is at. I believe his name is Spike. And when you're here, you can pick up some stuff from Spike because it's been a couple days. So he should have some, some stuff left over. 
Climb here. Um, this doesn't get you anywhere climbing this thing, I don't think. I don't know if you can climb onto those poles on the outside, but I do know you can go this way. There's another sick guy with the sick ass tanks on the back. We're gonna go up here. And down this way. Now you're inside of your safe zone. Go in here, talk to Spike. Grab all your stuff from him. He give you a med kit, which is nice. And then here you go. Wait until night. So we're going to nighttime. Spooky. Okay. This isn't too bad, actually. Uh, you only meet maybe one or two on the way there. And they're pretty dodgeable, so just take your time with it. What we're going to do is climb right here and then climb up here to get out of this base super easy. And then we're going to head straight. You're going to see a lamp in the distance go on. That's where you're headed. Uh, stay down here, though, because nothing is, comes down here. They all stay above you down here. So stay down here until you get really close to it. Like, stay right. Okay, so this is, you You know, this is the entrance, right? So remember, I had to come through the edge of the gate over here to get in. There's no other way inside. So this is your best bet in. Um, I'm going to turn off my light real quick. It's going to be super dark. But don't worry, I'm not moving anywhere. I'm just doing it so they don't get a glimpse of me. So you notice these two assholes are blocking my entrance my only entrance into the place if i can get this guy to come out far enough oh he's looking over my way okay so he smells me or something i'm gonna run off in the oh my goodness <laughs> so now we're gonna make a jet for it we're gonna make a big run for it actually let's go this way and let's hit this trap so we want to let that happen and run away from them <laughs> that kind of pisses them off and stuns them a little bit. It gives us a chance to get in here without them chasing us and then jump up here as fast as you can without getting attacked and then just jump all the way across straight. Just keep going. Once you're in here, you should be alright. This door should be open. And then you want to go in here and hit the switch. So then what that's going to do is going to just piss everybody off out here. <laughs> it's kind of anticlimactic. So they all just melted, except for this guy who's here. We're gonna close this up though, so you're not gonna worry about it. All right, and then that's that mission. Got it done. So now we did all the side missions. We did one of the story missions, or two of them actually, and we are back here. This is where this video is going to end. I actually made this video a little longer than I thought, an hour and a half. I wanted it to be about an hour, but uh, I kind of messed up at that one part and went the wrong way. So I had to kind of do an adaptive detour, and I still wanted to get in these two side missions. So we ended up having to do with a tower mission, which is what I didn't want to do in this episode. But whatever, right? Pick up this note. Be happy you survived a couple nights. Uh, but I will definitely check you guys out next time. Peace out, guys. Hope you're liking the guides. Hit the like button if you like these guys or if you just love my sexy voice. But peace out, guys. Later.